Hello and welcome, I'm Mark Fraser from the Nature Walks with Mark Show, and we're exploring very remote wilderness areas, learning about the fascinating wildlife and fauna that lives there, and I'm inviting you on the exploration. Normally when we think of crustaceans, it's often the lobsters and crabs that come to mind. But did you know that there's a crab relative, a crustacean known as isopod, that actually lives right in your backyard? It's seen here, it's called the wood lice and it's an incredible species. It still has its predators, like this centipede seen here. You see the centipede has the ability to break through the tough shell of the wood lice with those incredible pinchers you see right below its head. Centipedes are incredible predators, taking advantage of the same moist habitat underneath logs and debris where the wood lice have learned to survive. So this will keep them on their toes for sure. So not only do these isopods protect themselves with their tough shell, but they're capable of running amazingly fast, which is extremely important when you're sharing your habitat with a predator like a centipede. Unlike the centipede, the wood lice only has 14 legs, but it's not an insect at all, it's a strict crustacean. Speaking of a lot of legs, here's a millipede. This is another incredible species. Right off the bat, we see a big difference between the centipede and the millipede. First off, the millipede, it's not hunting. It's actually looking for plant matter, kind of similar to the wood lice. Now, if you look carefully at the legs, for every body segment of the millipede, there's two pair of legs, whereas the centipede only has one. The segmented body type seems to be very successful for the species that live under logs like this. Watch how quickly he can right himself. You see that? Very flexible shell. This gives him the ability to work his way through the different holes and cracks and crevices underneath the logs. It's hard to believe how tiny these little crab-like creatures really are. Let's compare. If we look at the size of the wood lice compared to my finger, it gives you a little bit of perspective. Of course, there's a deep sea version of the same isopod that can be up to 30 inches long. Now that's a spooky thought. Wood lice isopods will molt several times during their life until they reach maturity. Isopods are a very successful family. In fact, there's over 4,000 different kinds around the planet. It's been a complete pleasure to get to know this amazing isopod. Nature really is fascinating when you take the time to explore it and appreciate it. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you soon.